this could be one of the biggest blunders in video games history. Well, let's take a look at it. I'm going to assume most of my audience here has never heard of this game because they have better taste than that. There's this brand new game called Concord, and it's, you know, one of those F first person shooter games where you run around and you play different hero classes. You may have heard of another game called Overwatch. It seems like it's a Overwatch clone from Blizzard, but this was made directly from Sony. And after about 11 days of it being out, it's being shut down completely. It's one of those live service games, which means you must be online to play it. You cannot play it offline. And they're giving full refunds. Like, we're, we're going to break it down. We're going to look at it. We're going to examine what's going on. We're going to hear from some famous people. See what they have to say about it. First, we're going to check out Osma Gold. He was very excited. I know that Concord has been aborted. My mod sent it to me. Nomad sent it to me. And I replied back. I said, I used to pray for times like these. It's crazy. Yep, it's dead. It's actually fucking dead. Yep, I know. Isn't that crazy? It is absolutely crazy. I mean, this game, I think it cost about $200 million, And we're going to find out why. We will explore that. Yep, with a full refund. You're goddamn right. I know, man. $250 million dollar failure. On Concord? Well, hey, this goes right into what people are talking about with post-birth abortions, you know? It's been 12 days. It's been around for a couple of weeks, and they finally decided, you know what? <laughs> this is a bad decision after all. Man, so they brought out the old coat hanger? No, they didn't need to, bro. They just suffocated the baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? <laughs> it's just dead anyway, man. Do you think they'll bury you or try to rework it? I don't think they're going to do shit, man. I think it's done. Yeah, I, honestly, I think it's fucked. Oh, you start giving people write-offs. or You're writing it off at this, but this is getting Batwoman. <laughs> done, man. Or Batgirl. Yeah, only a $250 million mistake from Sony. Yeah, holy fuck, dude. Guess what? Nothing will be learned. You say nothing will be learned, but I don't agree with that. I think that they... Uh, they will definitely learn. There's some money. There's going to be a lot of job losses. There's going to be a lot of people. You, you got to remember, they're very far behind on this development. I think I heard that the game took about eight years development. Let's let's see. Nerd Roddick gave us a little bit of a clue as to why the game was canceled. I got you. <laughs> Me and my crew. We're the experts on it. <laughs> come on, come on, let's go! <laughs> Prudent choice. That's right. But with such fantastic competitive... <laughs> Who wants to play any of these characters? Are you serious? Is that... <laughs> okay, let me just ask. Are you motivated to play... I got you! I got you! Ho, ho, ho. That's Fat Albert. Me and my crew. I the don't. <laughs> Why is this chick wearing a? <laughs> is she? What is going on here? Yeah, that's a great looking character. They them breacher. They them. Thank you, breacher. It's on it. Come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I want a weird pixie elf freak. She her. <laughs> Prudent choice. That's right. But with such fantastic competitive gameplay, <laughs> 16 compelling characters to master, and 12 well-designed maps, it's got the makings of something that could go the distance in the months and years to come. Hopefully the live service roadmap will do its thing and show this promising shooter the love it needs to become something truly special. Promising shooter, huh? But right now, it's at least good enough for me to recommend trying out. A seven? <laughs> IGN gave it a seven. That's right. That's right. Let's look. Promise. She was real promise, but lacks innovation. I mean, it looks amazing. Who wouldn't want to be one of these random people with their... <laughs> what is... I never even looked into it this closely, where you have these insane characters that are just... I mean, I don't even know if Woke does it justice. It's just like Pander League. Pandering to different... Like, who's going to play this? You think some old lady's going to play this? Why would she play this? It's bananas. Unacceptable. Obviously, because they, they canceled it. It's totally done. <laughs> They're so generic, too. 
and not excited. Like, there's nothing interesting, you know, because uh, I'm playing First Descendant, and that thing is, like, bootalicious. And, and I'm looking at this, and I'm like, oh, does that guy need help? Does he need a special helmet? Like, what's going on here? Who are these people? They're the, wor they're the worst looking characters I've ever seen. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. So, um, yeah, but you can get a full refund, apparently. But uh, I, first, IGN gave it a seven. This, this obviously, they give lots of controversial takes because, you know, they get paid for this. Uh, Concord is a very fun sci-fi hero shooter that shows real promise. Good job, dude. You called it. You, you could have been like, I think this is going to be in big trouble. The characters are not... It even says uh, it the virtually non-existent story. So you have all these weird characters that don't even go together, that don't make sense, and there's no story to it. Why would anybody play this? Clearly they didn't. Nobody had any idea. Absolute failure. I think it's pretty funny because they spent a lot of money on this. And guess what? It's back, getting Batgirled. Getting sunk. So if you had the misfortune of buying this game, and I think, I don't know how many people were playing at the same time. Oh, it's important to note that it's PvP. So there's player versus player, right? Here it is, direct from PlayStation. An important update on Concord. I mean, what is Concord? The most generic name I've, like, you couldn't get any more generic than that. We've been listening to you Concord fans. You know, the three of you that are still here. We've been listening closely to your feedback since the launch of Concord on PS5 and PC. And, uh, you know, complete your journey aboard the North Star. While many qualities resonated with players, we also recognize that other aspects of the game on our initial launch didn't land the way we'd attend and intended th therefore at this time we've decided to take the game offline beginning september 6th to explore options which will better reach our players no it's getting it's getting sunk so you can get refunds from steam epic anywhere else once refunded players will no longer have access to the game thanks <laughs> i can't believe that's that's that is bananas Absolutely bananas. Nerdrotic. Concord will oh, be gosh. taken offline <laughs> <laughs> on September the 6th. On That's... all players will receive a full refund. Oof. Out you go. Isn't uh, that about, so, uh, wasn't it about 120 to 150 million that cost? Was Sweet Baby Ink involved or any of those types? Uh, yeah, so there's that. That's the other controversy. There's a consulting company that came in to help guide the character design. Clearly, they didn't guide the plot because there isn't one. But yeah, it's just, it's pretty hilarious that it's. <laughs> And then Star Wars Outlaws comes out. It's like they just dumped all these absolutely terrible, terrible things out at the same time. It's pretty hilarious. So I've never seen anything like this. This is pretty interesting. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do, would, is Sony doing the right thing? Are they doing right by their players? I think they are. I think that the most amount of people that are playing at any given time was lower than that of that Gollum game that was absolutely atrocious and wasn't even really a finished game. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd be really curious. Do they get what they deserve? Is that what we're looking at here? And uh, wow, I never even got a chance to play it. I'm going to try to do a first Descendant review because I've been playing that instead because like I said, that is bootalicious. Have I got some booty to show you? Oh my God compared to this. So anyway, thanks for listening. Really appreciate it. But I'm on to the next one. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.